I typically buy books on impulse. Some I have on my radar, my to buy, to read list. But most of the times I see something that grabs my attention and I just buy it. Either because it sounds cool at the time or I just want to show that author some love. The latter was the case when I decided to snatch up Backup Superhero by Kayla Hicks. I had no idea what to expect from this book, but I admit the title alone is very intriguing. After digging in, I unraveled a mystery package that has the potential for so much more. And that is essentially the theme of this review. Backup Superhero is based on a premise that is incredibly simple, yet oh so fascinating. The author paints a world where superheroes are comfortably woven into society's everyday fabric. They're also set up in tiers. For instance, you've got your A-listers, a la cats like Superman, Batman, Captain Douche Nugget. And you've also got your D-listers, a la Kite Man, Booster Gold, and a host of lesser known characters from the collective comic book universe. Our main character here is Panzer Girl, and she falls in the latter category. As you might expect, the A-listers, they get all the credit while the backup squad is hardly recognized while doing their fair share to keep crime at a minimum. That all starts to change when Panzer Girl's D-list counterpart, Dwighter, finally gets his day in the spotlight. But it may come at a cost because not everything is what it seems as the biggest smiling hero may turn out to be more sinister than squeaky clean. I love the idea here. It really has the potential for a high concept, high concept story with high stakes and multiple layers, complete with complex storylines and strong character development throughout. The issue I have with this book is that it doesn't come close to realizing its true potential. I just needed more details all around, like... What makes these characters superheroes and not just dedicated neighborhood watchers? Is it their elite fighting skills? Do they actually have superpowers? I also wanted to be able to visualize their costumes. Now we know that Panzer Girl has a cape, but beyond that, she, the whiter, and the big bad guy don't have a lot going on in the way of descriptively distinguished fe features. So I just picture Panzer Girl as Nikki A.S.H. from WWE fame. And she probably don't even look like that, but that's all I was left with. Had to improvise in my mind. I wanted to know more about their training and what distinguishes the starters from the bitch fighters. Like, why are they grouping these categories? Why is... The fucking one dude, the big bad superstar, why is he so much higher than these D-listers? Like, all this stuff was never really explained to me. The climax was also a bit of a letdown. The author did an amazing job of building up to a tense and fitting final battle. But instead of culminating all that build with the same level of vivid detail... We're left to learn the outcome in a manner that's comparable to seeing Freddy chase the final girl all through the woods only to have her overcome and alter his, his demise off screen. It just felt like a major cop out. In the end, Backup Superhero is a naturally fasc fascinating, well-written short story that sim simply left me wanting more. Some of my questions may be answered in Connected Tales as this is a series, but I just feel like series or not, any given book should be able to stand on its own and not require you to read something else in order to feel satisfied. Of course, this is just my take, my personal opinion. 
Backup Superhero has created a lot of positive buzz out here, so clearly people like it a lot. And that is cool for all parties involved, especially the author who clearly poured her heart and soul into this project. With that said, I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself and see what you think. For now, I give it a solid three and a half stars. Till next time, peace.